Hello guys and welcome. I know it's been a while, I didn't post anything in the past 7 days and for that I apologize, I've been busy trying to grind, I need to you know, stop exploring, experimenting at so many different things and I need to start focusing on trying to reach that level 75. Um, but with that being said, first of all I want to say thank you, thank you so very much for your support, your lurks, it means the world to me, thank you very freaking much, thanks to you guys, we reach... Uh, we became partners in, in Twitch. Uh, we are now part of the partner program, which is a major goal to me. It's something I always wanted, and we we just got it. And, and to tell you the truth, we're just getting started. This is the first step forward, and we're aiming for more. So again, thank you so very freaking much. It means the world to me. Now, with that being said, I would like to uh, express a little bit more about what, what is going to, to happen moving forward. And uh, I'm going to try my best to at least deliver two videos a week. If I can do more, then I will do more as things start to get more hyped and exciting for Raven Down, you know, with new patches, new content and so on uh, that, that are coming our way. Um, with that being said, though, in today's video, we're going to be talking, uh, well, showing you uh, three new, I think it's three or four new uh, mining spots, uh, high level mining spots. If you have not seen my previous mining video where I show all the locations, feel free to check that one out first. But this is pretty much a continuation to that one before they add more mining spots that they already announced they will um, uh, in the near future. So, with that said, let's get right into it. The very first one I would like to show you guys is right here at uh, Hunting March. Um, it's a little bit of a high level location for me because I have a mess on my on my abilities and I, I'm still I'm still trying to figure out which path to take but I think the Converso build which is just another video I'm working on um, I think this is where I'm gonna stay it will also depend on how bad protection is gonna get banned on the next update which I think it will I mean it has to be right like it's too strong anyway putting that aside um, the first uh, one I want to talk about is here in the hunting March there's a bunch of little caves here that are actually a mining locations the thing is that there is some uh, fox uh, foxes in there. They, they're, they're fairly strong. They're level 66, uh, so you have to be at least uh, effective level 56 to be able to uh, at least fight them properly. So I'm just gonna go down here and show you. There's a mining node right there. There is uh, let me another one right here, as you can see. And and it's, it looks like a very decent spot also for AOE grinding. So not only do you get a lot of uh, mining done. But you can also AOE grind, so it's all over this area. You can go down on in every single one of these uh, like cave systems around. Again, let me show you where hunting March and but it's definitely a place you want to be a high level. So uh, yeah, it's right here on the Frost Steppes, right here on the hunting March between hunting March and Wind Plains. I'm pretty sure there is a bunch of like uh, holes all over this area where you can go down there and. And explore it uh, yeah moving on to the next one the next location is one that is a little bit hidden so before I go there because there's a few mods uh, the next location is over here by Woodhaven sorry uh, Crow Hollow Bug you want to walk up to the north uh, north side here at Dread Mist Hollows there's a cave right in the middle a little bit hidden uh, from the from the site uh, you're gonna see it right next to a tree down there. There's some decently high level monsters I mean not too crazy not too too low as well. Oh my goodness. These are these are annoying little attacks It's always very annoying. They drop you off the, or your moa every time you see that they're so They're so frustrating. Anyway, we're gonna have to walk away there now, but um, I'm gonna just put the uh, the un Unbreakable here. Oh Jesus all right, give me a second. So the Nelex location, like I said, pre sorry, uh, earlier, um, it's right here and it's next to this tree. So you can barely see it, but it's right down there. That's the cave system. So once you go down, there's a very nice spot here in the area. Uh, uh, no, oh, oh, good. Okay, sorry. So the spot is pretty nice. It's actually fairly big, uh, as you can see. It's a very nice underground. The mobs are pretty decent in level, so you can actually mine and level your character while mining. The locations of the nodes, though, are a little bit spread out. As you can see, there's one right here. Another one was by there by the entrance. And um, 
And, and, and yeah, they're just a little bit spread out. But the mobs are level 60, so again, you can actually use this location very nicely to be able to level your character and mine at the same time. As you can see, we are doing that exactly now. Uh, there we go. And then you can just go ahead and take your notes and so on and so on and so on. It's a, def it's a, it's a very, very good spot. It's, uh, it's, known, it's not known... Uh, well, Hana is. <laughs> it took me a while to be able to to go in, uh, into a spot where there was not a, uh, some aggressive people inside, so I could record this video. But putting that aside, we actually, you know, the spot is fantastic. It's definitely worth checking out. So if you are uh, within levels uh, effective 50 plus, you should be able to handle these mobs, no problem. So definitely a good location for all the mining enthusiasts that want to level and mine at the same time. Now, moving on from this location, we're going to my favorite personal spot. I, I really like it. It's very popular, though, so it's a lot of conflict. It's always contested, but nevertheless, it's a very fun, very enjoyable spot. That would be Dwarves on Elder Step. So let me go ahead and... Now, the next location, like I mentioned earlier, is my favorite because it's a very enjoyable location, especially if you're taking the Reputation uh, uh, perk, which I will show you which one now. This place, uh, to get to this place, is uh, here on Elder Coast. And in Elder Coast, you go in, you enter through this little town here and go to the north. You will walk uh, <laughs> quite a lot. So that's why I want to show you guys exactly the path, how to get there. And once you get there, you're going to find a fantastic huge mine where you can actually add you know, kill some mobs and do some mining at the same time. Now, I really recommend you Diplomatic Exaltation for this location. Again, why? Because these are dwarves. Dwarves will not attack you and you can actually take them one by one. So you can re really do uh, a lot of XP um, here like, as a single target. Naturally, uh, AOE grinding is just by far much better than single target. Nevertheless, uh, this is, is still a very good location for all the single target enthusiasts. So again, I hope you're following the path we're taking right now because I am taking you to the dwarf locations right exactly this moment. So you're going to come down here the stairs and you're going to find the stone links. They're very annoying. So be sure to have your shields up. Be sure to, to, to you know, be prepared against them, right? Because they get they are very, very annoying. Um, so let's continue. Mm -hmm. Oh, but uh, that was one that's gonna hurt, but I we used that shield uh, just in time. Let's uh, put on the the air ara. Continue walking. I'm gonna put the uh, typhoon here so they stop annoying me. And then we go up the stairs here on the left. Oop. Over here, we're just gonna kill this one real quick so I can show you exactly the path we just took on the back. Um, so I'm just gonna jump to that. So as you saw, the path we took is we went down the stairs here and then we went in a diagonal path all the way to these stairs right here. So you reach the stairs, you come up and then you just walk past everybody again. Again, they are very annoying. So be prepared to have your shields up and just, both, you know, uh, walk past everybody here. Uh, again, this is just a very long path. That's why I want to show you guys so you are aware. This is the only downside with this location, really. Because uh, the dwarf mines are really, really good. But again, it's just such a shame that uh, they are, uh, you know, so deep in the mines. Oop, uh, there's, uh, they're actually hurting me quite a lot right now <laughs> doing this video, not paying attention, just getting, you know, all these rocks thrown at me. Anyway, let's just continue moving past everybody. Because as soon as we make it to these little holes, I hope you were able to see them. Because uh, I cannot stop to show you exactly where they at, but uh, you know, oh, because the map, oh my god, I forgot to remove the map on the top right corner. I apologize. All right, I'm gonna step out so you guys can see exactly where this little hole is. All right, so let's do that. I am so sorry, I forgot. So let's go back up, and you guys can see the location is right over here to the south. So you walk through here, walk up, boop, boop, boop. I'm into the south, and I gotta run now. Sorry, guys. Would love to show you much more, but we gotta continue down those two stairs, then start walking towards the east and move on to the next location. There we go. Walk down the stairs. And, and finally we reach the what you could say the entrance of um, of uh, of the dwarf mines. There we go. 
So we continue walking past and then you get two options. You can either go towards the north, uh, which is uh, where I'm going to show you, or you go towards the east. Both will, sh will take you to uh, the dwarves. I mean, it's pretty much the entrance of the dwarves, but they, they're basically different paths to the entrances, right? So here uh, you can go right here to the, to, to the north, right? And uh, you will see this little path to the left. And here is where the dwarf mines begin. You can see the dwarves. You can see the nodes. They don't attack you if you have that rep. Like I said, uh, Diplomatic Exaltation is fantastic for this location. They give very, very, very good uh, XP for everybody who wants to grind and do some... Uh, what's the name? Some mining at the same time. So you can see that's 2,000 experience. I'm rested at the moment, so maybe... You think that's not good enough, so we can actually, you know, try it again. So you can see exactly how much more experience they give. And that one also gives me 2,000, oh, but I'm rested. <laughs> My examples are terrible. Nevertheless, you know, this is the mining, uh, uh, the dwarf mining location, and it's massive. It's very freaking good. It's massive. Um, let me go on again. I just want to show you the other side, the other entrance is also very like a, another path that you can take, like an alternative. You, if you come in here with somebody, you can send the, that person up through the north, you know, so through the top floor while you do the down floor. And by the time you reach where he is, you know, maybe the cooldowns on the on the bottom are already finished and yours uh you know he can mine your notes and you mine his right so you come up here and you think oh there's nothing right well there is it's a cave entrance and boom there we go you go you, you're basically starting the mines but from the bottom and it's like a massive circle you walk all the way there boom 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 and then you come up the stairs right here and you are on the second floor but yeah that's pretty much it. Those are the uh, new mines that I'm aware of. I believe there's a couple also mines that you can unlock uh, through the Gilead Island journal that I just gave up doing it. Fishing is so boring, so I apologize. I'll probably never be able to show you that unless they do something about fishing. Um, then there is also uh, the Safer Bale stuff, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't think anybody has actually finished this one. Nevertheless, let's put that to the side. Thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Um, I am Toto Torres. I hope this guide helped you. And if you're new to the game, feel free to apply to the Unite Guild. We have two guilds now, UNT and UN. And the UN Guild is all about helping uh, newcomers, uh, take it, uh, helping them with quests, helping them with guides and so on and so on. So feel free to apply and we'll be more than happy to accept you and, you know, show you uh, the way in Ravendown. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you found this uh, useful, uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.